welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be my October favorites. And I know that this is probably uploaded technically a little bit late, I don't know, kind of already almost done the first week of November, which is crazy, but November is my birthday month, so at least I'll have something to look forward to. Let's just start with beauty products and we'll move right along. So the first product I have here is the Nicole by OPI Nail Polish. This shade is in Shoot for the Maroon, and I actually have this on my nails today. Do, 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 do. It's a really pretty maroon, obviously, um, but it's really sparkly too, and I just find that it goes really well with a lot of different outfits that you could wear. And then the second one is also the same brand, Nicole by OPI. This one is in Fashion Diva. This is doesn't really have any sparkle to it, but it's just more of like a deep, deep plum color, which also goes with a lot of different outfits. And then this is the Sally Hansen Hard as Nails Extreme Wear Nail Color. This is in gray area. And I've actually had this for a few years. And I just find that it's like the perfect color. I usually paint uh, my ring finger a different color. And I usually go with that if I'm going to be doing some sort of dark burgundy purple color. So that works really the well. next thing, one of my prized possessions, is my Little Mermaid Ariel Part of Your World eyeshadow palette from Sephora. Now this was limited edition, I don't think you can get it anymore, um, depends on where you try to look online. But these are the colors inside. They're really pretty, you have like a really nice highlight color right here, and then sort of a transitional taupey shade right there. And then you have this sparkly purple, and a really nice green as well. And I've been using this um, a few times throughout the month. I used it for my Halloween tutorial, which you can check out. I'll link the description, or I'll link the link in the description. Another thing I've been loving that I also tried out for my Halloween tutorial was the Wet n Wild um, Color Icon Palette. Now this is in purple. I use blue for my um, Halloween tutorial. I was a mermaid. But these palettes, I think this cost me like $4.99 at the drugstore. Keep in mind I'm in Canada, so if you're in the States, it's going to be a lot cheaper, which obviously, yes. So yeah, this one is just in like really pretty purple shades. Moving along, the next product I have is my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. I'm in the shade NW20. Obviously, I've heard this raved about a lot on YouTube. You guys have as well, so I figured I would try it out. And this is the shade that the lady matched me with. Honestly, I love this concealer. It, it doesn't like show your fine lines and wrinkles, which, hey, we're women. We appreciate that because we need to look awake at all times of the day. So yeah, I've really been liking that. And then I have two more beauty products and they are for your eyes slash eyebrows. So for this one, actually misplaced the lid. This is my um, Milani Easy Brow Brow Pencil. So it comes with a little spoolie right here, and then it has your eyebrow pencil right here. This is in the shade Natural Taupe. Um, I've really been liking it a lot this month. I use it pretty much almost every day just to kind of give my brows a more defined look. And yeah, it's really been working out well for me, and we will see if it makes it through my November favorites. The next is uh, my Milani Eye Tech Extreme Eyeliner. This is the liquid eyeliner. And I've heard about the Milani brand before on YouTube, so I figured I would give it a try. I'm really satisfied with it. It's really inexpensive. Um, I'll swatch it for you. And it stays on like all day too, so I really liked that. All right, that's it for my beauty products. Now I'll go on to hair. So I dyed my hair. I had like a red ombre um, back in... July or August of this year. So my mom's friend actually um, owns an Aveda salon. And if you guys haven't heard of the name or the brand Aveda, this is what it looks like. Amazing products. And this is the Matter Root Color Conditioner um, and Rich's Warm Tones and Dark and Red Shades of Hair. So if you look at it, I don't want to make a mess here, but the conditioner is actually red. And it's kind of weird because when you're in the shower and conditioning your hair and everything, it looks like you're putting ketchup on, but 
it works for you, I promise. Although that I took the red out of my hair and I don't have it anymore, I really like that. Like it was a really powerful conditioner. I kept my hair red for a really long time. As you guys probably know, red is one of the hardest colors to keep up and I had mine dyed in the summer, so the sun was gonna fade it and it was just not really working out for me. But if you are going to dye your hair red, if you're looking for a color treatment conditioner, I would definitely recommend that because it was amazing. The next product I have is my Herbal Essence Volumizing Hairspray. It's um, the Body Envy line. I've used this for a while now, and this is probably my favorite hairspray because it doesn't smell like hairspray. I hate that stuffy hairspray, like stinky smell. You guys know probably what I'm talking about, but um, this smells, I don't know if it says on here. Mm -hmm. No, but it smells kind of like flowers and orchids and like a little bit fruity um, so yeah this works really well for me it's very long lasting don't spray too much because you don't want it to like weigh down your hair but other than that it works and then the last hair product I have is this Babyliss Pro Argan Oil amazing like oh my goodness I've been using this for a few years now and um, I probably wouldn't I've tried out different brands but I probably wouldn't switch to another one this is the label right here so you can see and I got this at Cosmo Prof which is just like a distributors for beauty cosmetology um, people who are in that profession they can take their card and get a discount there my mom um, has one so that's where I got it from but it's very nourishing I've like I said I've tried other ones and they're just I don't know, not as good and I have really thick I have naturally curly hair it's very thick and very dry lately <laughs> because of the weather but this is a lifesaver so I strongly recommend pick that up if you can try it out I'm sure you will love it and then I have two candles from Bath and Body Works oh my goodness I cannot go any season without burning these candles because they smell so amazing and my two favorites this season are the Kitchen Spice oh my god Mm. And the apple crumble. This might, I don't know, the, both of them, they're tied between my favorites. I don't have one favorite. I'd probably pick both of them. Oh, this, it just smells like walking into a really cozy, beautiful house, mm. which I love. So yeah, if you can still find these, I don't know if they're technically not in season anymore because they're going to be doing their Christmas stuff soon, but if you can find them, definitely give them a try. For music, I have been loving the... Ed Sheeran plus negative album. I know that Ed Sheeran is probably no stranger to a lot of you guys. He has been listened to, he blew up last winter and he is an amazing artist. I got the chance to see him when he opened for Taylor Swift in Vancouver this past summer and hands down he's one of the best performers I've ever seen. Like he's not just a musician or a singer, he's a performer and his songs, especially on this album, they're just so personal and you know that who he's singing about in the songs and who he's describing is unlike anyone else. Like you can just tell that it's really meaningful, not just like, hey girl, watching you in the club, nice butt. So no, no, none of that. I don't even know what my favorite songs are, probably like all of them, but this is the cover art. I'll show you. Amazing. It doesn't even really look like him in this picture, but that's all right with me. They're just amazing I love them oh so good <laughs> my next favorite song it's not really a song that's been out for a while it's pretty new but I'm sure you guys have all heard it no not that one anyways I'm pretty sure that you guys have all heard it work Bitch, Britney Spears. This song is the number one song to ever get me in the gym and working out. It's like, oh, Britney's telling you, you better work, bitch. It's like, okay, yes, yes, I will, Britney. I 
I hope you guys enjoyed my October favorites, and thank you so much for watching. I will see you in my next video. Bye.